You've joined us on what is going to be one very tense day in the van today. One false move today and that is it. I've got three opportunities to massively cock up the work itself. Okay, so if you're up to speed with our latest vlogs, um, which you should be, if you're not, why not? Um, but I'll just give you a run through on where we've got to. So last week we did the mattress, which is behind me, our lovely super king size mattress. Um, so we just cut it down slightly on the width and length. We do need to take a little bit more off that, don't we? We're just, yeah, we're gonna take a slight little bit off the back because you can see that it's touching the back doors there. Um, and then the other job we had done, uh, which Josh did, was install the diesel heater. So- Was that last week? Under our bench seat, yeah, it was last week. Um, under the bench seat, we now have a diesel heater. And we've tested it out, it's all working fine, it's lovely and warm, so um, we're cranking it up now because as we're getting into these winter months, it's bloody freezing working in the van, so I'm very glad we've got that now. No pressure. <laughs> but I am glad it's you making the cuts and not me, because the blame is completely on you if it goes wrong. It won't, it'll be fine. Let's think positive. Sweating, I'm sweating, it's about two degrees outside. <laughs> So all of this stuff that's behind Josh at the minute is what we're installing today. So we've got, uh, I'm guessing that's the sink in that box. Yep. Uh, tap in this one, and then we've got the hob in that one. So our lovely empty worktop is going to be filled by the end of today. It's very windy. I think it's we windy. need to. I think we need to establish something there. First things first. Let me give you a little treat. <laughs> I think I want to put a bit of heat up. Oh, I thought, I thought you were getting the little uh, pack of sweeteners out. I was like, what, are you going to give me a sweetener? <laughs> no, I'm putting the heater on. And for those of you that enjoy a good unboxing video, here we go on the hob. So this is like the main base of it. So we've gone for a, a black uh, glass one. And then in here is like the... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what you even call them. Yeah, the burners. Um, so it does come with a plug, but we're not actually going to have it plugged in. We're going to light it with... Um, just a lighter. Yeah. It's gonna be really loud with that heat. Eh? Oh, we'll have to measure. In theory, it should fit in this gap so that I've put on here. Really, yeah. Look at this, it doesn't need that much of a gap, to be fair. No. 27 and a half. Just a little bit bigger. I suppose if I went down the middle. Toasty that, I feel like <laughs> my legs. And then it wants to be a 20, a 47 and a half. And on this one. Is the one my measurements right? Well, you're slightly smaller, but he went obviously halfway across than the knot, but. Near enough. To be honest, if you're happy with that, I could probably just. Cut around the edge of that. What do you think about position though? Because um, I, I put it more towards the back so that we've got like just a little bit of room here. So I don't know, for, like maybe chopping or uh, anything. Could be anything. Diesel heater is bloody lovely. <laughs> Best buy for the van ever. This is it. Don't get scared now. The difference in that drill. What like bottle that one is. Beauty of an inverter. Right, wish me luck. Here we go. Good luck, Josh. 
Bigger. a big old hole in the worktop and lots of mess in the cupboard but it's the moment of truth does the hop fit beautiful needs a little bit of that edge taking off though just a bit snug is it there we have it ladies and gentlemen one fitted hop looking lovely good job Josh very proud of you. I knew you wouldn't mess it up. Of course I wouldn't. Oh, isn't she pretty? Fits like a glove. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really nice. Good measures they were. They were indeed. Oh, I can't wait until I get my nice new kettle and can make us uh, a cup of tea. Exciting. Very. On to task number two. This is the one I'm not looking forward to, because it's not really a forgiving bezel on it. I don't know, it's uh, uh, well, it's quite slim. There's enough though, I can see there's more than there was on the hob. No. You'll be alright. So, the, um, the sink came with this paper template that we've just stuck down and what I'm doing is just going around and taping the edges and hopefully Josh can follow this with his jigsaw and I've just measured from the bottom um, just to make sure that it's straight all the way across so we've left five and a half centimetres gap so that should be straight now we just need to make sure that tape's not going to rip that paper's not going to rip um, Well, I see what you mean now about drawing around it. Yeah, because if, if, if that template rips, so then... what I'll do is I'll just lift these. No, leave them down. Leave them down. Yeah, but there's no tape on that bit, we'll put... so I can lift oh, these, saying, yeah. these corners up and then stick them back down once I put a bit of tape under them. So <laughs> this is the story for the last maybe half hour. Josh, is, Josh keeps cutting little bits off. So he's cut the main hole and then we try and slot the sink in and um, it's just catching all around. So the hole's obviously not big enough. So he's trying to shave like bits off the edge, but <laughs> we just can't get it to go in. The template they give us is about fucking two inches too small. Back to the drawing board. Come on, get in there, son! <laughs> it just doesn't want to go in, does it? <laughs> I think we should just leave it like that. I can have it as a feature, like a raised sink. It'll be all the rage everyone will, everyone will want it. It'll be in fucking two in a minute. It's so close. Guess what, guys? It fits! Thank God! You can see here from me looking over here, that's why we need to cut some of the mattress down because it's hanging right over. What can we do with that? But 
yeah do you know what i was gonna say i don't know if that's gonna be a problem because obviously in a normal sink water goes down that bit doesn't it no, so maybe sink. maybe we'll have to like put silicon on it or something do you think question yeah because that's what goes on it yeah I yeah i think we might have to fill it with something i don't know anyway it's in we'll cross that bridge at a later stage so for anyone that may be wondering both the sink and the hob and the tap actually they all came from amazon the sink is stainless steel no, um it's not. Yeah, it is. It's stainless steel. It's not. It is stainless steel. <laughs> so apparently it's not stainless steel. I think it is. But anyway, the size of it is 440. So the inside measurement is actually 40 centimetres and it's from the edge is 440 all the way around. So it's a square one. The hob is obviously a gas hob. And then the tap seems to be the one that everyone chooses for the van build, which we'll show you in a bit. This really is the twitchy bit now because it's time for the tap and there really is only one, one go with this. There's only one place it can go as well. Say me, but something smells like f <laughs> something smells like fish. Is it the wood? I think it's you. It's take that back now. You got a shower this morning. Shut up. <laughs> You ever had a poo like that? No! And for anyone that may be wondering, yes, those are sausage dogs wearing party hats on my socks. Would you take a look at that hey. magnificent beauty? You're such in a rush all the time, aren't you? I know, you? it's exciting though! Get the sink in, come on, steady! <laughs> steady as she goes! Obviously, I need to trim a little bit more off because it's still not right, but. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it does look nice. That I'm so I, I'm really glad that we we stuck with the black theme. Oh, the hell am I gonna get that? Oh, no, it is nice. Oh, and the tap I was on about that everyone seems to choose for their van build because it um it's got like a multi-function on it. So you twist this and it has like the spray. Uh, <laughs> it you, has can... you can have like just a regular tap or just, or like a spray oh, then function. Just like that, we have sink and a tap. Thank God, it went smooth. It just need to, does need whacking a little bit. I know we spoke about that back a bit before, but I think what I'm gonna do is just put the, the thing that comes with it, the metal bit, and stick that in. And then I'll glove up the back so no water can go down the back of it. And then hopefully that should do the trick. To be fair, yes, we put the the weight on the thing. Not that it, it works. It's a pain. So I need to uh, get it down through there and pull that down. There we go. Need to work out why that's not working. Yeah, 
I'm happy with the uh, the cuts. That's one one of the bigger jobs done now. Now we're going to put the splash back on. So I need to cut the edge. I think I'm probably just going to go. I don't know, straight up the middle. Yeah. So it's going to need to going to need to get a tape measure on that one. I think. Okay, guys. So sink done. Tap done. Next job is the splash back. So we actually got this from IKEA. It's like a marbly effect one, as you can see. Because originally I thought I might use those stick-on tiles, but I thought that this might be easier to um, to like wipe down and stuff, be a bit more manageable. Because the problem with the stick-on tiles, if you've not used them before, they kind of have like a gummy texture to them. So when you wipe them down, if you if you use anything that's got like um, like a, a microfiber cloth anything that's got loose fibers on it, it it stays on the um on the tile you can see it. it leaves like a fuzz so i thought this might be a bit easier to work with and it looks nice as well so it's just a case of putting it down really So these splashbacks actually come double sided so we're going for the um try not to hit the cabinet we're going for the marble side but if you wanted to you could go for the reverse side instead so that's quite cool that you can choose to have it either way you want so all i'm doing now is just pulling off the protective coating and then we're going to get it stuck in place Why do we do circles, Josh? You tell me. It's for suction. So when you put it onto the wall, it goes like against the wall. And that's the exact sound it makes as well. Is that why mouth circle? Yeah. This side is quite nice as well. That one. Either side would have worked. It's just that I like the marble. It's not, this one's awful. It's all right. Hurt my eyes, I can't even see where I'm putting the blobs here. <laughs> what kind of circle was that? I thought we were done past these glue gun days. There we go guys, we got ourselves a kitchen. So that's the splash back now it's on. So what I would like to do is, um, obviously you can see there's a quite a big gap there so I think I need to go around the edge of this with like some white silicon or something just to kind of neaten it a bit and then for that edge there I want to try and find like some kind of malleable edging strip that I can put on the edge of it just so you don't see the bits where the jigsaw is cut it because it's kind of chipped it slightly but other than that the kitchen I think is looking absolutely gorgeous and it's exactly how I imagined it as well which Oh, it's nice. I, I do love it when a plan comes together. Little family portrait. Millie, <laughs> hey, where are you going? Where's she going? Got Millie in with us as well. There she Millie. is. Millie! She's loving she the loves bed, the isn't she? She loves it, yeah. I can't wait until we're coming away in it. I'm really excited now. I think we can go away in two weeks. <sighs> I think the last weekend of this month we can go away in it. Millie, come here. I'm worried she's going to fall off the end of the bed. Millie, come here. That is the only problem with this bed. If Melly falls off it, she's uh, dead. It's quite high. I know she'll have a broken leg. I don't think she'll jump off. You're not a silly girl, are you? You're a good girl. You're a clever girl, aren't you? She's good compared to the other two rats that we've got this <laughs> oh, week. <Millie. laughs> what are you doing? Go on, turn it on. Right guys, we're going to call it a day for today. Um, we've had a really, really productive day, so we're really pleased, aren't we? We are. It's actually gone right for a change. 
Finally. Um, so we're happy for once, <laughs> instead of at each other's throats. What do we do tomorrow though? Uh, I don't know what we're actually need, what we've got to do now. No. We have um, got stuff to do, but we just haven't got the stuff for it, so. Yeah, and it's it's all the expensive stuff now, so it's um, waiting for money, <laughs> unfortunately. We've got some painting we can do. <laughs> yeah, know. maybe we'll do that, we'll see. Might have a chill day tomorrow. But... Oh, we need to put the shelves up. Yes, we do. And we've got those shelves as well. Yes. We paint and put up. That is true. We'll we find got... something to do. We've got tons to do, but um, <coughs> yeah, we'll catch you in the morning. <laughs>